Hey everybody, Rowan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the network render feature of 3ds Max. The reason one will use this is say you've got multiple files that you would like to render like say you've got a normal pass and your shadow pass and also like a ambient occlusion pass. You can use the network render feature to send all three of those files to the 3ds Max server and then the server will actually queue them and render them for you. So you don't have to sort of render one file, wait for that file to complete and then start the next one. With this system you can render as many files as you like, put them in the queue system and maybe the next morning all of them are done. Okay, so first of all let me show you. I've got three files here that I created in Max. It's the same scene but I've set them up differently. The first one is the normal render pass. Then we've got our shadow pass or shadow render only showing the shadows and then our ambient occlusion pass which is only the ambient occlusion. So the first step to set this up is if you go to start programs and you go to Autodesk and you'll see the back burner folder if you open that and then you need to click on manager. This is like the queue system so you can send files to it um, and tell the server to render these files for you. So once this is open we can just minimize that and back in 3ds max we can go to rendering render setup and for this tutorial i'm only going to render a couple of frames so we're going to go to range and let's just make it 0 to 5 and all my resolution settings and everything i'll leave that as default we're going to go down to files and let's go to the desktop let's just create a folder here and call this normal because this is the normal pass that we're going to render now. Go into that, let's give it a name. And let's select PNG. We're going to save it as an image sequence. And click on save. And click OK, that's fine. And very important, we're going to select net render. And we're going to click render. Now it's going to ask us where the server is or where on the network the server exists. So obviously this is on our local machine, so you can just click on connect and it will actually pick up your render server name and it's connected and we can go submit. Okay, that one's done, so I can close this and let's open the next max file. So I want to save that, let's go to shadows. So that's the second max file that we want to send to the render server. So we're going to go to rendering again, render setup. Let's render 0 to 5 frames, leave everything default, go to files, let's create a new folder, let's call this shadow, and let's give it a name, select PNG image, click on save, click OK, and remember to click net render again, and then render. And it's going to ask you which server again. We're just going to click connect because it's a local machine. And we're going to click submit. There we go. And the last one, we're going to open up our ambient occlusion file. Click on rendering, render setup. Click on range, 0 to 5 frames. Scroll down to files. And we're going to create a new folder. Let's call it AO. Give it a name. Select PNG image file, click save, click OK. And remember to click net render again. And then click render, connect, there we go, submit. And once you've done that, you can actually close 3ds Max. Don't want to save it. And once you've closed 3ds Max, you actually want to start your server. So all you have to do is click on start programs, go to Autodesk, back burner and click on server. This will actually start the server and you see it says launching 3ds Max and it's going to start rendering your first file. If you want to monitor the progress we go to start all programs Autodesk back burner monitor and then we're going to click this button here in the corner which is connect and we're going to connect to localhost because the server is running on our local machine. Click OK. And there we can see our jobs that's been queued. 
So it's first going to do the normal, then the shadows, and then the ambient occlusion. Right, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.